Uh, y'all can't really see anything. Y'all can probably see my gauges. You can hear me. You can see oncoming traffic. You can see speed limit's 55. I'm going 35. For years, I've been told I need to get a bigger truck for the work I do because I'm always towing, well, way more than this F-150 should. And people are right. I've, there's, there's reason behind that. So today, I traded my Jeep for a 65 F600, which is currently on my trailer. I don't really know how much the F600 weighs. I'm guessing it's around seven, 8,000 pounds, and my trailer is 3,500. And I know my motor is hot. I think the head gasket is, is not too pleased with me right now. But I have a big hill coming up here. I'm coming down to the river. And that hill on the other side. The other hill is evil just towing a lawnmower or a little or towing my tractor. It's it's a steep little hill. And I yeah, that's that's iffy. My trailer brakes are on or off, there's no in between. So you got kind of pedal them and it throws you back and forth and I don't I don't really like it. It just is what it is. So I'm going to put the camera down here for a moment so I can shift. So I'm going to have to go down to second and then I'm going to hold the thing wide open to make you up this hill. There's Ford. Giving it all the beans. We get to 30 miles now, I'll go to second. Well, it isn't taking long. That's second gear. That's all there is. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. <laughs> take some footage of this in the morning or tomorrow sometime in the daylight so you can see the whole setup. I might go over to the dump and weigh it just so I can see how ridiculously overweight I am right now. Alright, uh, so I got home a while back. I had dinner, watched a couple TV shows with my dad and here I am. Suspension, judging at that, I probably have around 750 to 1,000 pounds of ton weight on the truck right now and it actually towed pretty nice. Didn't fish tail or anything. It towed sweet. I didn't give up about 45 a truck. Either this is a lot heavier than I thought. I was guessing around seven, eight thousand pounds. Um. After listening to uh, what was the channel name? I want his real name. Uh, Thunderhead 289's advice of going to ported vacuum instead of manifold vacuum for the. Back from Vance, my distributor. I made it from here to the racetrack and then I made it to the elementary school on 105. And I said, nope, I'm going back to, uh, I wasn't going to keep it like that because the truck kept peeing. I had two degrees initial timing. But I think that's just a bad, unless I'm doing something very wrong, that is just a very bad application for what I'm a very bad use for that for my application because I spent a lot of time you know wide open throttle under a heavy load and still not turning more than 1500 or 2000 rpms so but when I stopped to set it back to a manifold vacuum I noticed a little baby stream of coolant and by stream I mean you know a few drops 
It probably would have fit in a, a tablespoon or two of coolant right above the um, the uh, lift door cover on the side of the motor. So what I'm hoping happened is that with it pinning under a load, I just stretched the bolts holding the head down just a little bit and allowed a little bit to leak out and then it fell back down. That's my hope. If I'm wrong in that, I've blown a head gasket and I finally have a reason to go to a 20,000 stick head gasket and replace the cracked cylinder head after owning this truck for seven or eight years. I mean, I rebuilt a motor and did a full valve job on a motor with a known cracked head. So, yeah, there's that. It could also be the crack in the head finally let loose. I don't want to think about that either right now. I want to think about this beautiful, beautiful truck. If you know the weight of this truck empty, please let me know. It's a 65 F600 that I traded that Jeep I had for. It's a 330 HD motor in it. Uh, four speed, I don't know which four speed off the top of my head. And uh, two speed rear, I think it's an Eaton rear axle. There is some rust along the bottoms of the cab, nothing bad. Once I have the truck running and everything, there is the VIN. If y'all want to do some research for me. And truck overall is pretty clean. If I can climb up here. It's it had a, a dump bed on it. They cut that off. I'm gonna put a flat bed on it. I don't particularly need a dump bed for for my intended use. I mean it's not a, a bad truck. I, I wish it had more gauges, but eh, oh well. It's rough. It'll need a new floor on this side. The passenger side is fine. It'll need that quarter panel there. And the passenger side door has some rust as well, but again, nothing major. It'll need a new gas tank. This gas tank is full of rust. The brakes are not functional at the moment. But, yeah. For what I have in it, I can't complain. This will be a good running truck when I put a little time money into it and I don't know when I'm gonna get to that so I'm gonna get the Bronco and the backhoe done forced as well as I need to get Damien's truck done forced so this will be a little ways off but it is it'll be back it'll sit on the backbone like my Jeep does until I have time to get around to it I'm hoping a wheel cylinder or something maybe a brake line rotted out and just leak fluid. The hard lines look pretty good. So I'm hoping this rubber line gave loose or wheel cylinder rusted out. In which case the brakes are just going to be gone, cleaned up and bled. So, yeah. I'll be the end of this. I have very little memory left on my phone. I need to actually upload some of my videos at some point in the near future. I'll probably add this to what we did with the backhoe. I have backhoe and F6 and one. They're both a 65 forward. Go figure. So I just went down to the dump. Um, truck, trailer, and F600 is 15 3 That's without me sitting in the seat. So, that being said, my truck, with everything I keep in it, is usually about 6000 Trailer, I know, is 3500 so six plus thirty-five, that's ninety-five. A so this is about fifty-five hundred six thousand pounds. So if you're wondering what a sixty-five F six hundred two speed reel, four speed, three thirty MD weighs with no bed, it's about fifty-five hundred six thousand pounds. It's not that heavy.